This is the setup that FTC uses to test its generators. I will go through the various components so that you understand how we do it. Right here is the power supply that drives that motor. It's a 1000 watt power supply, that's a 1000 watt motor. Here is the drive control for the motor. By turning this dial, I control the speed. Now this is the most important part. This is the Himmelstein. It is a torque meter, calibrated torque meter. The design is to allow us to know the efficiency of the generator. And as you can see, the generator is connected directly to the torque meter. Here is the pickup for the uh, tachometer. Now the idea there is we need to be able to measure the RPM so that we can develop an understanding of the efficiency. This is a standard 15 kilowatt generator. This particular one is going to England. I want to give you a little bit of an information about it. This is the new boards that we've developed. They're special boards that control the uh, power from the coils going out. Now this one will have a, an AC uh, adapter connected to it so that it will produce 230 AC. Here is a screen right here for the, the um, tachometer. I'll show you that in just a second. This is a battery that we use. It's a 12 volt battery. The Himmelstein requires 12 volts to be driven. Now here is the Himmelstein screen. Now the idea there is this will measure the torque coming out of the um, Himmelstein so we will know how much energy is being applied to the generator. Now what we do here, this is our voltmeter. What we do here is we measure the voltage. We measure the voltage going into the load which is underneath the desk. Here is the torque, uh, the uh, temperature gauge that we measure the temperature of the coils. The coils will all stay about 75, 78 degrees continuously. Now I'm going to turn it on. You're going to see the torque. Now that's this number up here. That's the torque. Now what you do is you measure, you multiply the torque in foot pounds times the RPM, which is right here. You, mul you multiply those two together, and that will give you the horsepower if you divide that number by 5252. That's the whole idea behind it. Now, that's how you measure the efficiency of the generator. Now, as the generator spins up, the faster it spins, the, the more efficient it becomes. Now, I'm going to turn it on. All right, you're going to see the power going up. You're going to see the torque going up. All right, and you're seeing the voltage. As we turn this up, the voltage goes up, the RPM goes up, and the torque goes up. Now we'll speed it up. I 
tell you right now, because of the changes I've designed into it, is it exceeds the test that they did by Advanced Energy. That's because we did the, I made the changes. Now, we'll take a quick look at the temperature of the coils. Now, this thing had been running all morning, and we're running about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's look at a few of them. <clears throat> you can get a sense of what it is. So uh, that gets 80. We come over here. We want to see what this temperature is. That's 81. Down here is an 81. There's another 81. So the, the generator is running essentially normally. This is what we wanted out of our generators. It's cooling off a bit. But essentially, this is how we test our generators. This is how we build them. This is why they're so good. It's because we put this kind of effort into it and we show our customers that indeed this is what we have. This is the, this is the kind of quality we develop and we, pro we provide. All of our licensees do the same thing. We're making very high quality equipment and we're testing it. We're not guessing. We're saying we've got this and we're willing to prove it. This is why FTC is, has a standard it has, and this is why you should buy one as soon as you can.